How's it going everyone? Welcome to Thermal California. I'm here with the 2022 Subaru BRZ. No, not this one, this one. This is Subaru's new rear wheel drive sports car and it's powered by a 2.4 liter flat four making 228 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. That's an increase of about 15 horsepower and 30 pound-feet over the outgoing vehicle. Just like the outgoing, it's gonna be rear-wheel drive with a standard six-speed manual or an optional six-speed automatic, and it looks the business. I love the way this thing looks. I love the front end. I think it kind of looks a little bit smiley and a little bit bubbly, which I think is a nice attribute for a modern car to have. It's not overly aggressive. Um, functional vents, Beautiful, compact, two-door coupe styling, and it's just a really lovely machine. Uh, I'm about to go out on the track in a few minutes, and I'm really excited. I don't get to drive it, but I'm gonna go on a ride along, and I'll let you know what I think after that. This is the second generation of Subaru's fantastic rear-wheel drive sports car, and as you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive update over the old one. Styling is completely revised. Very attractive, modernized update that I think looks a little bit like kind of a bubbly Dodge Viper. And in the BRZ spirit, it is still a rear wheel drive, four cylinder sports car. It's now powered by a 2.4 liter flat four that produces 228 horsepower and 184 pound feet, both of which are fairly sizable increases over the old one. It's got a new front fascia. All of these vents are completely functional. This front vent directs air around the wheels and this vent just behind the wheel kind of extracts air from this turbulent area underneath the, uh, the front fender, improving aerodynamics and reducing drag. And then there's also a fully functional ducktail rear spoiler that kind of helps uh, improve aero even a little bit more. In the rear view, it's a pretty interesting vehicle as well. I can't decide what these taillights remind me of. Maybe throw in a little NSX vibes, maybe some, you know, modern, you know, Impreza vibes sort of, um, but it is just kind of an interesting machine. Still kind of maintains the same proportions as the old one, which is a good thing in my opinion, but it is just slightly modernized. Leaving absolutely no question as to its performance credentials are these big, massive twin exit exhaust outlets. Another interesting way of just kind of planting a flag in the ground that this is a special machine. The interior is completely revised as well with a new seven inch um, instrument cluster and an eight inch Starlink multimedia um, infotainment system, which is Definitely a huge update over the old aftermarket looking system in the current BRZ. And then the bucket seats are pretty fantastic as well. So there you have it. We're gonna go for a spin in just a few minutes and I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about how this thing feels. I can't drive it yet, but they're gonna take me for a ride and I can't wait. So we are here, I am riding in the passenger seat of the 2022 Subaru BRZ at Thermal. And we're gonna have a little fun.
did well. such a good job with that. I mean, the original BRZ was already so good of a platform, and they just they made it a little bit better. And the, and it, probably the most importantly is they gave it just that right amount of, of horsepower to to give it a little bit more control. Yeah. Right? I can. Yeah. I can now get the rear a little bit loose off the corner if I want to. I can have way more fun with it. I can drift it around. Yeah. It's, uh, and then it's still easily the best handling car in this class. Yeah, no, that was that's wonderful. Seats hold you in place. It felt like you could kind of just steer it really well with just the throttle, you know? Of course, you know, Scott Speed is a professional driver. He could probably lap this track faster than I could in a, you know, a Lamborghini Huracan. So <laughs> there's that too. But even so, what a what a brilliant car. Yeah, they, I mean, having driven as many things as I have for, for a road car, sports car, this thing is, is truly incredible. Yeah. Well, thank you for the ride, thing. Scott. I yeah, appreciate it very much. I mean, this is such a prime balance machine. It's really, really lovely. Um, I'm a big fan. I didn't get to drive it. I just got to ride along, you know, as you know, but it's a lot of fun. Man, it was a good car. So he's chucking it pretty hard through this corner. The Subaru BRZ arrives sometime next year as a 2022. They haven't announced pricing, but we don't anticipate it to rise too much more, meaning that you should be able to get into a base model for less than $30,000. That means that the Mazda Miata and the base Nissan Z have to keep their eyes in the rearview mirrors to make sure this thing doesn't sneak up from behind. Thanks for watching.